This building is one of the last remaining of the WIC 6, the string of auto dealers that once lined Youngstown's north side. To its left is a large plot of vacant land where the mayor is considering building a brand new safety forces complex. Most everyone on city council agrees new buildings are needed, especially for the police department, but not everyone agrees that this is the right move. Moving from downtown, it's our top story tonight at 10. The Youngstown Police Department is located downtown, adjacent to City Hall. The Central Fire Station is four blocks away. Both, says Mayor Tito Brown, need replaced. They're aging out. So the mayor's proposing a new combination police department fire station on Wick Avenue, on land where the Wick 6 auto dealers once operated. I say, let's put something in writing. Let's put something down on paper so we can look to see, is this what we want or is what else can we do? So Youngstown's Board of Control, which the mayor oversees, voted to hire Strollo Architects. What would it look like and can it work at this location? And if it can work, what's it going to be the cost? I still don't know the cost. Another big plus, says the mayor, the city already owns the land. But a lot of times when we start asking about land that we don't own, the dollar signs go up. I'm most concerned about the location. I do not believe that it is an ideal location. Are you for that spot? Um, no, I'm not. Youngstown Council members Anita Davis and Basha Adamzak were critical of the decision-making process. Adamzak says she found out on the news. I think we need to spend some time and talk about it more, get the input of our safety forces, the patrolmen, the firefighters, and the constituency base to see if that's something that they would like to see. The mayor also sees it as a way to redevelop this section of the north side. If we became become an anchor in a community, who wouldn't want to live in a, in a community where the joint police fire and a community gathering location is right there in their neighborhood? We have more and more people moving into downtown Youngstown. We're hoping to bring more and more businesses. So why would you remove your, your safety forces from the hub? Any city expenditure over $25,000 must be approved by city council. The deal with Strollo Architects was done with two $24,000 contracts because, says the mayor, they're two different departments. You know, I get five departments to buy from the same vendor of tires, but different brands of tires. I don't want to hear the BS that, oh, it's two different police departments. I mean, police department, and fire department. It's a safety campus. It's one locale. Youngstown City Councilwoman Samantha Turner also said, quote, the city has the land and the space to put it there. So I think it's a great idea, even more so, to combine those spaces. On the mayor doing two contracts and bypassing council, Turner added, quote, it wasn't the most proper thing to do, but it's well within his right as the administrator of the city.